Kelly, let's take a look at pictures from Renton, Washington. Now, this is the 737 uh, plant. That's where they build all of the Maxes. And just a few minutes ago, the Max 10, which is the largest version of the 737 Max family, taking off clear skies. This flight is expected to last a couple of hours. This is a plane that can carry up to 230 passengers. And again, it will be the largest of all the Maxes that Boeing plans to build. There are four versions. The Max 8 and Max 9 are already in service. The Max 7, the smallest, has yet to be built. And there you see after it takes off. As you look at this plane, keep in mind that deliveries of the Max 10 will not start until 2023. But this is an important hurdle for Boeing to overcome as it continues to ramp up production of the 737 Max. The company has more than 550 Max 10s that have been ordered, and the backlog, it stands, I believe, at somewhere over 3,000 Maxes altogether. So it's crucial that they continue moving forward, not only with the Max 10, but after that, then with the Max 7. I'm going to show you a couple of stocks to keep an eye on. One of them, Boeing. And as I mentioned, it's crucial that they continue to make progress on increasing Max production, which they have been doing. So for them, this is a big milestone. And then you've got United Airlines. It is the launch airline for the 737 MAX 10. And again, first deliveries not scheduled until 2023. Kelly, back to you. And that's exactly why, uh, you know, the, sort of the whole market field is watching these test flights with the now the largest of the 737 MAX fleet in the air. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.